Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing this look that you see right here. It's definitely very colorful, I guess, if you will. It has some green, some gold, some brown, some grays, a little bit of everything. I love this look. This is a look that I wore in my January favorites video. I'm actually going to be filming that video next. So if this video makes it to the tube, it's because you guys had requested it or you either really liked the look when you saw it on my January favorites. So thank you guys for requesting it. So this is what I'm going to bring you today. I hope you guys enjoy and if you want to see how to get the look, then please keep watching. To start off, I'm going to be priming my eyelids. That is not anything new for me. I usually always start with this step, and I'm going to be using concealer for this. I just love to use concealer as an eyeshadow primer. I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape for this, and this is in the shade Light Neutral. Then I'm just going to blend that out with my Beauty Blender. To set that concealer and also to just go ahead and do a transition on my eyes before I go in with the other colors, I'm taking the Tartlet in Bloom palette and I'm taking a shade called Jet Setter. I could not find the clip of it, but it is just a really soft, taupey color. As you can see here, I'm starting by swiping that in my crease and windshield wiper motions and just bringing that down and really pretty much all over my eye. I'm going to be taking this Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette, which you guys know I love. I'm taking that green shade, and actually I'm also going to take a little bit of the black that was underneath the green, mixing those two together, and I'm just going to put that all over my eyelid area and just dragging that up a little bit for a little bit more smokiness, just because I felt like the green was too light and it wasn't giving me enough. So with that being said, I took those two colors, and then I just put them on my lid, and then I buffed them up with this fluffy brush and kind of just brought it up. You guys, I'm going to be taking the Sleek Makeup Palette. Surprise, surprise. I swear, every tutorial that I've done recently has been using this palette. I have been obsessed with it. I swear, I'm done using it, though, at least on camera. I'm taking that green color from the palette, and I'm going to be applying that to my inner and outer corners only, just because I want to leave the gold just for the center. So as you can see here, outer corners are going to have the green, and I'm going to leave just a little bit of space in the middle just to put that gold and I'm going to connect the green up at the top. So as you see here, I'm taking that gold and just putting it right spank in the center for that added pop. And I am using Fix Plus for these colors just because I just feel like it really brings it to the like total next level. On their own, they're pretty, but with Fix Plus, it's like bam, like in your face. And that's exactly what I want here. So as you can see, I'm connecting the green up at the top and just really intensifying that gold in the center. I'm going to be grabbing the Tartlet in Bloom palette and I'm taking the shade Activist, which is just a charcoaly deep brown. And I'm just going to apply that to the outer corner and kind of bring that in for an extra added smokiness to the look. And then I'm just going to make sure that everything is nice and blended so it kind of all makes sense while still making sure that the gold and the green are still standing out. I actually went ahead and applied my falsies off camera. I did skip eyeliner and I'm going to go ahead and start with the face. I'm using the Nivea Post Shame After Balm to prime my face. And then for foundation, I'm going to be going in with the Clinique um, Beyond Perfecting Foundation, which I have been loving a lot as well. I'm going to take that doe foot applicator and apply that very evenly to my face and then buff that out and blend it in with my Beauty Blender. I'm going to be grabbing that Tarte Shape Tape again, and I'm just going to be concealing my under eye area this time. It is really, really, really potent. As you can see, guys, this is some really strong stuff. I actually forget sometimes when I'm working with this that it's like you don't need as much as I actually applied. I really feel like I overdid it. So to just balance out everything else on my face, I went ahead and I applied some to my um, the sides of my nose and my chin area just to kind of balance out my face because I felt like I was looking really white underneath my eyes. To bronze up and contour, I'm going to be taking my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and I'm just going to be using this, again, to contour and bronze. This is an oldie but a goodie. I absolutely love this and I didn't show it on camera but I used that banana shade in the center just to set my under eyes. For some extra added smokiness, I'm going to be taking some of that Activist, which is that dark brown that I used on my outer corner. I'm going to use that on my lash line. And that is from the Tartlet in Bloom palette. Also from Tarte, I'm going to be taking the Lights Camera Flashes Mascara. This is actually my favorite mascara for a while there. It was like the only thing that I would ever use on my lashes. Um, it's a really good mascara. I'm just going to run that on my lower and my upper lashes just to make them blend with the falsies a little bit better. 
I'm going to be taking this really pretty blush from the Becca Jaclyn Hill collab um, from a couple months back and I'm just going to apply that on my cheeks. I love this blush. I actually forget the name of it very often. I'll list it down below, but it's one of my favorite blushes, like when you don't know what blush you want to wear type of thing. It's just really a very neutral, pretty color. And then I'm going to be taking the Kat Von D Bow and Arrow Liquid Lipstick, another one of my favorites, and I'm just going to be applying that to my lips. I mean, obviously... <laughs> And last but not least, this part is totally optional, but just for a little bit added sparkle, I'm going to be taking some Prosecco Pop and just popping that in the center of my lips, just for a little bit of a metallic finish on the lips. And that's it, you guys. That completes this look. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!